So questions to myself were, how am I going to make this transition? How do I get into a developer role? I started asking developers at the company I worked for. I asked my supervisor, I asked my colleagues. I was doing tons of research. So I was like, wait, where do I even start? There's so much information online, it can be overwhelming. Hey everyone, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jashelle and this channel is all about sharing my tech journey. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my transition from tech support call center to developer. Also, like and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content, as well as interested in following my tech journey. So a couple of years ago, I was working in tech support for a software company. I basically talked to customers all day and helped them troubleshoot any problems that they had with the software. If you're interested in knowing what this is truly like, you can find a lot of videos right here on YouTube about what it's like working in a call center. <clears throat> but it's strictly customer facing, pretty repetitive, and it just wasn't something I wanted to do anymore, honestly. I originally got into tech support because I felt it was a good start career-wise. And in many ways it was because it helped me understand the customer facing side of things. I learned what it was like to work on the front lines of a business. And of course, just learning how to troubleshoot and solve problems. So it did have its place in my life, but it was time for me to move on because I knew that I could be doing so much more. And I was more so interested in helping to build or improve the software rather than troubleshooting problems. So questions to myself were, how am I going to make this transition? How do I get into a developer role? I started asking developers at the company I worked for. I asked my supervisor, I asked my colleagues. I was doing tons of research. I just didn't know enough about this side of tech yet as far as this was concerned. I just didn't know where to go. People were giving me all kinds of suggestions. And fast forward, ultimately I resigned from this role to focus on this full time. I was dead set on changing my career and making my life better and just being happier with my career, which now I am. So I ended up enrolling in a computer science bachelor's degree program online. However, soon after that, I was told about a coding bootcamp called Lambda School, where you don't pay anything unless you're hired as a developer and making over a certain amount. Now, please understand understand that this was back in 2019. I am no longer a Lambda student. I'm not a staff member or in any way affiliated with Lambda School. This is only my story and I have no clue about anything going on there now. So after hearing about the program through an experienced software developer, I ended up canceling the bachelor's degree program and did the boot camp instead. The boot camp was a lot shorter than going back for the degree would have been. Plus you dive right in, start building practical development projects and learn exactly what you need to land a job in the industry. I built up a lot of knowledge very, very fast. And metaphorically speaking, I was eating, sleeping, breathing code. I learned front end and back end development and how to actually apply technologies to build a full stack application, how to collaborate across different teams, for example, with UX designers and data scientists. I learned about version control in the command line. I became a team lead, so I learned how to manage projects and lead a team. Let's just say I learned a lot. <laughs> It definitely gave me the skills I needed to start working as a developer. And I got a job before I actually completed the program because I started applying for jobs after I learned how to completely build a full stack application and after I felt more confident in the modern technologies that I was learning. And when I was no longer intimidated by new technologies because that's pretty much what this career is. Always new stuff, it's always changing. After that, I just continued to learn on the job and doing self-teaching. And of course, additional schooling or formal education is always an option. Attending a boot camp absolutely helped to give me the support and structure I needed when I was entering this industry. There was a curriculum review of your projects, career coaches, team leads. There was accountability. At least that was my experience. But once I got that foundation and I started working full time, I'm totally confident now in self-teaching because I understand everything overall. I can lead myself more. Whereas two years ago, I was like, wait, where do I even start? There's so much information online, it can be overwhelming. Even though I already knew 
knew how to build websites. It wasn't on the level of what I know now. It was more like a thing I knew how to do, but I didn't know like best practices or just the whole professional side of development. But I didn't want to start out self-teaching blindly. And I didn't want to spend unnecessary time pursuing a computer science degree if I didn't have to. Now that I'm in the industry and have a feel for things, I can now decide what route I truly want to go with my career. And if additional formal education is necessary in the future, then I'll pursue it then. But overall, that's my story of how I transitioned from tech support call center to developer. I'm so happy that that part is behind me because that was hands down the hardest part of this journey. And I still feel like I'm just beginning. I have so many interests, but I continue to take it one day at a time. Also, can anyone else relate to this? Transitioning from something else to development. What route did you take? And how is it going for you? Let me know in the comments. That's it for now, and I'll see you later. Bye. I come from you, my baby, my ghost, my baby, my ghost, my baby, my ghost.